then when we get a little bit further along, look what happens. The mask blurred area is, no long, is not moving with the text. So as a result, as soon as the vehicle starts moving, it doesn't look so good. But that's how we did our motion tracking. So I'm going to select the mask. I'm going to go back to behaviors. I'm going to go into motion tracking. I'm going to say match move. I'll drop that onto the mask. Click onto it. Click onto its inspector. And right now it hasn't selected a layer to track from, but I'm going to go ahead and tell it to use the analyze motion behavior that we created a little earlier. Select that. And now when I play this guy, how's that? Very nice. And actually, we're going to go ahead and tidy this up because if we if we go a little bit forward here, one thing we notice is as soon as this all goes off the frame, then the mask kind of goes crazy and does kind of bouncing all over the place. So we're just going to go ahead and as soon as it's cleared, which is right about there, we're going to go ahead and, and set this, this layer's out point by just clicking on the overlay layer here and then we're right where we need to be with our uh, playhead and we're just going to hit the O key to end that layer off. So, that's looking pretty good. That's a great start. Now, what's happening here? You notice when I get to a certain point, suddenly the mask area is not quite big enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to play with the scale a little bit to try and tidy that up. So I'm going to hit the A key or the automatic record of keyframes key, switch that on. I'm going to go over to my inspector of my mask and I'm going to start playing around with its properties and I'm going to scale it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick up-down scale here just to set my initial keyframe. It's an easier way to do that, but that's the way I like to do it, just make it real quick. Let's uh, drag forward a little bit in the timeline. Right about there, you can see I'm starting to lose something on the edges there, so I'm going to go ahead and scale the mask up a little bit until I cover that area up. Click that off. See, that's looking pretty good. So let me cruise back a little bit. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's move forward even more. Okay, again, here we are. And now we can see we've started to lose it again. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more scaling up. And that's looking pretty good. So let's let's play that from start to finish. Good, 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 good. Starting to lose it there. Okay, right at the very end, I need one more maneuver. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that one last time. I'm going to scale it up. Go ahead and take it completely up to 177%. And that pretty much covers everything. One thing we can do with the mask is if we increase its feathering a little bit, it's going to kind of fade off into the distance a little bit better and maybe be a little bit less noticeable. That looks pretty nice. You can see a lot less of the sort of demarcation of where exactly it exists. And one other thing I can try is I can try I can try experimenting. The thing is that every shot is going to be a little bit different as far as its requirements, like how it's going to look. One thing I can try in this particular shot is if I go in and I reduce the colors a tiny bit on the uh, overlay footage by using the color reduce filter, drag that guy over. Right now it looks a little weird, but we'll see what we're going to do with that. I'm going to go into the inspector. You can see that's kind of odd. Go into filters. I'm going to switch color reduce down to two colors now. I'm going to tell anything that's a black color to be colored more like the side of the truck here. Not bad. And anything that's a white color to also be colored that exact same color. So now, boom. That's looking even less noticeable. And when I cruise back and forth with that, that might even do it more nicely. And that's pretty good. I mean, again, you're going to need to go in there and tweak and, and play around with it even more to your liking and sort of find the combination that, you, that you're ultimately is going to work with you. But if you compare that to that's what it looked like originally, you know? That's on, that's 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 pretty amazing. That's off, that's on. On, off, on, off. Getting rid of anything you don't want without spending a lot of time going through and painting frame by frame and satisfying legal and hopefully some aesthetic issues. So, hope you enjoyed that little tutorial.